what's going on y'all i'm back with another video yay me i wasn't even gonna film i already started eating look i done took a bite i was like let me turn this camera on and film for these people y'all hear that ah the sound of la morning traffic blowing their horns. Mm, mm. Let me show y'all what I got. I got food from a place called Egg Slut. And it's really good. They actually have one in Vegas. And when my sister and I were in Vegas last October for the Usher concert, which I still haven't posted that footage either. It's such a fun trip. I'm gonna post it one day but they had egg slut there mm. Mm. and I forget which hotel it was in but it was near our hotel we were at Park MGM it's okay um but we were at Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. these are so good yeah so we sit at park mgm whichever hotel is like kind of next to it that's where the egg slutty is on the strip so me and my sister ended up going to eat at this place twice in the i think we were there for four days four or five days and we had egg slut twice Mmm. Look at that crunch. And my phone is getting ready to die, so it might not get the whole video. But um mm. these bad boys, these are truffle hash browns. And I didn't even look at the description on the menu today, but in Vegas, it was like they're hash browns that are fried in duck fat. And then it's got, um, I think there's some chives in there and truffle, truffle seasoning or something. It's good. And what's funny, it's, I'm not a huge fan of truffle. My sister is though. And so the first time we went there, I didn't get any hash browns. I just got the burger or the sandwich. She got the hash browns and I tasted one. Listen. Had the not had the line not been so long to like get back in and order more food, I would have definitely ordered some. But that line that at Vegas, it was just it was long, like down the hallway around the corner long. So when we went back the second time, though, I for sure got me some truffle hash browns. Mmm. 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 This don't get me in trouble. Mm. No, I'm tired. I'm definitely gonna find somewhere to park after I leave here. The little parking garage that I'm in right now, they don't validate parking. And I think it said it was like I don't even know child it costs money so otherwise I would just like stay here and take a nap
star of the show. Those are so good. Ooh, my hand is itching. I mean, I got some money coming. Yes, I receive it. Okay. So now on to the simmage. I just got their basic um, bacon, egg, and cheese. And then it comes with a chipotle ketchup. I did light on the ketchup this time because I do remember it being a lot of ketchup in Vegas. But they make everything fresh. So you got to wait a little bit for your food to get ready. Um, I'm going to take the fatty parts off my bacon. I don't like fat on my bacon when it's chewy. That's a no for me. I like that part on the bacon, but only if it's fried up nice and crispy. And this ain't that. So, I'm going to be messing with my food experience. This piece might be okay. Mm, this piece, let's see. So, the baby, um, this new baby, I think he's gonna give me the blues. I'm not sure yet. It's still early, but he doesn't sleep as great as I would like for him to sleep. But he's not like horrible either. So, how the last night was a rough one. Very rough night. I wonder, I'm sure you can request to have your bacon cooked crispy because I could have definitely do this back on the grill. So it looks like they give me four pieces of bacon. This piece definitely could have went back on the grill. It's so funny how people have like preferences though, or like how they like their bacon cooked. They need to comment below how you like your bacon cooked. Like, are you one of those weirdo people that like it floppy? Mm-mm. I don't like it floppy. It gotta be cooked all the way through. I don't like it floppy. And I also don't like it, like, too crispy where there's no chew to it. Like, where it just crack and crumble. Like, it's not burnt, but it's just, like, extra crispy. It's, like, crumbling. I don't like it that well done. I like it just right in the middle. I like it crispy, but still like a little chew to it. Also note to y'all, the um, egg on this sandwich comes by default, I think, over medium. And I don't really like the runny part of an egg. I like, again, I like my shit cooked all the way through. So I did request for him to make the egg extra hard and then it got cheese. So that's what the sandwich looked like. Let's take a bite. Mm. I mean, this is a brioche bun and they're kind of thick and dense. So I can see why it comes with the egg over medium because it kind of helps give it like some moisture to the sandwich otherwise it is kind of dry because again when I ordered it in Vegas I would forget to tell them to make it over hard and so it would come over medium and there wasn't a fan but I do remember and know that it would bring some like liquid to the sandwich same with the ketchup Maybe because my egg is over hard, I could have had them go a little heavier, like normal amount of ketchup. It's fine. It tastes fine. I mean, it tastes like what you would think a bacon, egg, and cheese would taste like. There's nothing spectacular about it at all. But them hash browns, though, listen. The hash browns are definitely where it's at. Hmm. So, let's see. The baby didn't do good last night. So, um, I mean, I'm supposed I'm not as tired as you would think I would be. Hmm. But, that's that. I don't have no updates for y'all, especially because I actually just filmed the video 
a couple of days ago. Now, when y'all get them, I don't know. Like, but it would have been that, like, Mexican fruit cup, like, street Mexican fruit cup. And I pretty much updated y'all on everything in that video. So, sorry if this one is boring. Just say I just like my company. And plus, I'm trying to think. I mean, I can tell y'all what I'm going to do today. I guess technically I should probably vlog it. Damn, I should probably vlog it. We'll just see if I can get y'all some B-roll footage. But today we have to go do laundry. Definitely do for a laundry mat day. I'm on the Hollywood side of um, L.A., Yes, your girl is Hollywood. Hey, you like that little dance break? <laughs> and it's so crazy because I be doing that like all the time when I'm like just driving through town. <laughs> If I see a Hollywood sign or Hollywood Boulevard or Welcome to Hollywood, anything Hollywood. And sometimes even if I don't get a reminder, I could just see like one of those streets where it's just completely lined with palm trees. I love those streets, like the really tall palm tree trees and they're like lined up. And I haven't hugged a palm tree yet. And I need to because they are definitely calling to me. Like I want to hug one of the tall skinny ones. Mm. <laughs> Why am I still singing the Hollywood song in my head? And the only part I know is just the part I just sung to y'all. <laughs> oh, that's what I've been singing. Yesterday when I was in rush hour, I was fucking it up with the Ooh, it's the lights. Ready for the action. Hollywood. Hey, y'all like the Beyonce song? I think it's Beyonce and Jay Z. Anyway, <laughs> now I'm just really having a dance break, but this is good. Sometimes filming can be therapeutic, y'all, because I was, whoo, I had an attitude. Like all last night, <laughs> when it's morning, I had an attitude. But since California is so green friendly, I had to stop. Take a little. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. One of the other songs I be singing. Because sometimes I be driving through Beverly Hills. So I be like, Beverly Hills. That's where I want to be. Hey. So <laughs> I'll be singing that song. I think those are my only Hollywood songs. I think I am missing one. It'll come to me. It'll come to me. Numbers. Y'all, why my sister got me saying that? <laughs> she always says numbers. <laughs> and it's so funny because, like, whenever I would hear her say it, I used to think it was, like, not cute. <laughs> and now I find myself seeing it all the time. And it is very befitting if something is yummy. It's, like, delicious. See, I feel like I usually say delicious, but yummers is a good synonym. Mmm. 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 I really don't have anything to update y'all on. Like, since it's been, like I said, just a couple of days ago, I filmed a video. I only turned the camera on because I figured y'all want to see me eat my sandwich. Um. Okay, yeah, so we're doing laundry today. I need to do dishes again. 
Yeah, I saw the dishes from when I was at Joshua Tree. And I think, I think I do have two more things of dishes. Like, girl, please do better. Y'all need to pray for me. I need to do better in life. I be struggling. Like, I was through life. You're struggling. Crazy. But, I need to do dishes. The thing with the dishes is I have to find a place to do them where I won't be, like, bothered. Honestly, this would probably be a good place. I think I need to go figure out how much parking is. And if it's not too expensive, maybe just post up. Because right now there's nobody here. It's going to be a good time. That's not my only problem. Like, I haven't really found a park that I like so far in LA. Where I can like get shit done. So. There's like not. A place. I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure it out, but I need to do dishes. I need to figure out how dishes are going to work in LA for sure. Especially because I made my little salmon, broccoli, rice meal again. That's like my go-to like healthy quick meal. Now, it's not quick anymore since I don't have a microwave because two-thirds of those ingredients, you can just pop in a microwave. So like the steamable broccoli bag and then the Uncle Ben's ready rice. You can put that in the microwave. And then the salmon, you just pan sear it, which shouldn't take long. But again, in the van, everything takes long. I don't know if I've shared that with you guys in any of the previous videos, but um, yeah, it takes a long time to do anything like in the van. <laughs> The other day I was on the phone with my sister, I'm like, mm, I'm going to brush my teeth real quick. Like, ain't no real quick about it. Even just brushing your teeth, making a smoothie, getting dressed, anything. There is no real quick about anything. <laughs> this sandwich is good, though. I'm going to take a drink. I know I don't really drink when I'm eating. Which is so funny when you think about people who won't, like, eat their food unless they have a drink. I mean, outside of water. Most of them people are not healthy. Well, you gotta have a drink with every meal. Pop, tea, juice. It's not good. Just drink some water. Mm. I know a lot of people like that Abuela's like that With her Alzheimer's she's like addicted To Pepsi like it's like an addiction And Listen The amount of Pepsi that we go through Excuse me with her It's crazy But She won't eat her food Unless she have a Pepsi Like if you just, I mean she'll eat it if she like hungry enough But she gonna bitch about it and it's like less Enjoyable for her so, with her being old and, like, sick, like, we give her one with every meal because she wants, hell, she would want three of them with every meal, like a can of pop. But we'll give her one with every meal. Um, and she just enjoys her food better that way. Like, she'll mope and complain, like, the time, whole time she's eating and she have to drink water. She's like, we ain't got no Pepsi. We ain't got no pop. We ain't got nothing to drink. <laughs> so, just give it to her. Um, but my sister and her children, they drink some type of something sweet with every meal. They now, I mean, they do drink water. Same with Abuela. Like, she'll drink water. But the fact that you drink that much, like, sugary drinks in a day, every day, it just seems excessive. That's all I'm saying. I'll get off my soapbox. I say that out of love. But I'm not talking about it. Maybe you do better today after hearing me like <laughs> rant about that. Like maybe instead of having 
three drinks a day just take one off so maybe for breakfast mm, let's do dinner well you pick whichever maybe for either breakfast lunch or dinner you just take away your little sugary side drink just for that meal the you know, other two meals you can have it and even that is improvement because now you're at least one soda down mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I wasn't even starving but I knew I needed to eat something otherwise I wouldn't be able to take a good nap because I'll wake up from being hungry Seems like a lot of trash. I feel like I should have. I guess this cardboard will kind of decompose a bit. Better than plastic. But I should have just. Oops, hold on. My battery about to die. Um, I was saying I should have just ate inside of the place. But then I wouldn't have been able to film for you guys because they was playing music. Mm-hmm. I'm just taking a good little nap. Y'all, I want to wrap the video up. But I don't know if y'all feel like y'all need to see me, like, eat this entire bite. Or if I could just sign off. Mmm. Mmm. Man, I'm trying to tell y'all them hash browns, egg slap, definite 10 out of 10 on the hash browns. The sandwich, mm. Mm. let's see, I would say the sandwich would be like, I don't know a six and a half and i know that sounds bad but it's not a bad sandwich it's above average so i always just put a five in the middle and that's like just it's not good it's not nasty and then just kind of go from there so we put it at a five it's not nasty by any means so it's definitely not going to be a five or below but it's also not like a spectacular sandwich like it's a very basic slightly bougie like made fresh to order so it's good so like a six and a half like there's nothing to write home about the hash browns are bomb though <laughs> definitely all right y'all well i hope you like this video i feel like low key was probably boring i just like wasted a good 30 minutes of y'all time but you got to see me and i was filming I'm gonna check my. I gotta fill my pill box up. That's something I gotta do today. This is my little pill box. And so today, I gotta take those pills. There's four pills. Sometimes it be five pills if it's an iron day. I took an iron pill, but I only take it every other day. So I've got ashwagandha. I've got one a day i've got calcium and magnesium usually i'll take the magnesium obviously like before bed and like i said i'm gonna take my little morning nap so i'm gonna take it now that's what i take take your vitamins guys be healthy make healthy choices today okay love you bye